I'm Megan Tapp with Revolutions in Fitness. Uh, this is your tri tip of the week. Today we're going to be releasing the psoas muscle. Uh, the psoas is a, a deeper muscle uh, kind of running in through the lower part of the abdomen to the front part of the hip. So it helps to flex the hip, but it also flexes the trunk. Uh, since most of us are seated in some way, shape, or form throughout most of the day, depending on what we do for work, long commutes, uh, and even if you think about those of us that are cyclists, you know, kind of being in a position um, either on the drops or like an aerial position for long periods of time, this muscle tends to get pretty tight. The hard part is, is that it's really deep, so it's hard for us to kind of get to and stretch effectively, uh, but it can cause all kinds of injuries from low back pain to knee pain, uh, and even all the way down to the foot and the ankle. Um, some of the tendonitis and overuse injuries that sometimes crop up with training. So what we're going to do today is use a kind of softer trigger point ball, so not a firm lacrosse ball. Um, this definitely has give to it because we have to be sensitive to the uh, contents of the uh, abdomen. So you have obviously internal organs that we have to kind of work around in addition to uh, the part that we're going to release, which is the muscle. So you're going to do both sides, obviously, with this particular exercise, but for our purposes, we're going to go ahead and work on the right side. So I'm going to show it to you standing up, and then I'll show it to you laying down. You're going to find your belly button, place the ball in the belly button, and then since I'm doing my right side, I'm going to slide the ball over about a half an inch to my right. Okay. Now, I'll lay down in just a moment to show this to you, but once I'm laying down, the goal is to try to lay completely flat on the ball, try to relax, and then you're going to take three deep breaths. Every time you breathe in, your belly should push into the ball, and then you relax as you exhale. Once you've done three deep breaths, you're going to go ahead and move down just a little bit, and you're going to repeat the process, three deep breaths. One more time, you're going to move the ball down, three deep breaths, and then from there, we can go ahead and start to play around with some other movements. Like, I'm going to do a hamstring curl, and I'm also going to do some hip rotation or some windshield wipers. And again, all that's used to mobilize the soft tissue and release that psoas muscle. So again, find my belly button, move it off to the side just a little bit, and then I'm gonna lay on my stomach, and I'm gonna try to relax as best I can. For most people, you'll probably feel a little tenderness. That's normal, that's okay, but as long as you have that soft trigger point ball, um, you're probably not doing anything um, that you shouldn't as far as the inside is concerned. So now I take my three deep breaths. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna move down just a little bit. Same thing, three deep breaths. One more time, move down just a little bit, three deep breaths. And then from there, I can go ahead and start some of my lower body mobilizations, hamstring curls, windshield wipers. And again, the point being to try to get that psoas muscle to uh, relax and release. And that is your tri-tip of the week.